welcome to another episode of Jay Leno's Garage. Now, if you've been to this website before, you know I'm a huge Morgan enthusiast. In fact, here's my three-wheel Morgan right now. Take a look. Well, there have been some changes since that one was built. Uh, most obviously, the adding of a fourth wheel. And this is the latest Morgan right here. Uh, pretty fantastic. I am very fortunate today to have the man whose name is on the building. Charles Morgan is in America, and he's brought this car by. Charles, come on in. How are you? Jay, great to see well, you. Well, it's an honor yeah, to meet you. Well, I, it's I, an honor I, to meet you. I've read about your family and followed the history and your grandfather, Harry, and uh, oh, just it's, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. It's a bit like meeting uh, Henry Ford or something, you know, so that would be the equivalent here in America. Now, you guys are Britain's last independent English-owned car company, isn't that correct? Yeah, yeah, we are. And I think we're almost the last British car company of all, really. Right, yeah, yeah. And uh, 100 um, years. Yeah, 100 years. We've celebrated this year uh, big time, actually. In fact, yeah. people actually came over from the States. We had uh, just over 3,000 cars. Wow. In Malvern, where we make the car. Um, people came from 23 different countries. Um, as I say, we, we, we love America. Yeah. Um, we were quite big in America in the 60s. Right, right. With what was called the Morgan Plus Four. Right. And I'm amazed every time I come here to find the recognition of Morgan is so great. I mean, literally a, a, a lovely homeless person at Beverly, um, at Beverly Shopping Center the other day looked at me, looked across at me and said, uh, that's a Morgan, isn't it? And uh, I said, yes, it is. Yes, it is. And would you like uh, a couple of dollars? Because... <laughs> well, see, I'm trying to say, in Beverly Hills, even homeless people make 60 to 80,000 a year. So it's, it's a little different. Well, see, the thing that's fascinating to me is I was one of those people, I always liked Morgan, especially in the 60s and 70s. And then when the emissions and all the safety things came in, my, my great fear was that the company would just sort of collapse and not be able to meet the standards. But you guys have really changed. It's a whole new company now, as, as demonstrated by this car. Tell us about this model. This is called the Aero Supersport. My goal, if you like, was to meet all the safety, the crash test, etc., but also keep the car ultra light. And that's the, that's the raison d'etre of all Morgans, really, is they're lighter than the average car. So we make it out of aluminum for a right. start. Um, we bond it together now, so that's adhesive bonding, which is very, very stiff. It, it doubles the stiffness of the aluminium. Uh, and then we, uh, we simply fit the best engine we can from a reputable manufacturer that meets all the emission standards. Because the one thing about the small companies is, yeah. if you start to make your own engine and meet emission standards and try to make a global engine, you'll go bust. Right, Because you right. just don't have the number gotcha, of volume gotcha. of cars to, to make it. Now, I know for years you used the Rover V8, you used the Triumph motor, and this is what, the 4.8 uh, BMW, correct? Yeah, it's, it's more or less the latest engine. They do do a 4.4 turbo now, mm -hmm. which is slightly more fuel efficient, but the, uh, the 4.8 suits as well. It's got lots of torque, um, and uh, it's, it's a very economical engine. So, you know, even for a V8 at uh, sort of 300 horsepower, 380 horsepower, yeah. you've, got, um, you've got probably 30 miles to the gallon. So, right. you know, it's, it's an economical And what does the car weigh? It weighs in pounds, uh, uh, in kilos, it's, it's 1,150. So, so that's, that's about 2,475? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And at 2,400 pounds and 380 horsepower, that's, it's a, quick. that's a pretty amazing power to well, wear. Well, you see, ratio. we're racing in the FIA GT3. Can we take a look around the car? Let's open yeah. the hood. Yeah. Wow, they get it in there, don't they? It's pretty tight squeeze. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to try and get something down there. Ah, you never <laughs> get your hand out. It's amazing. That's the BMW. Your foot wells go all the way up to here. But look at this beautiful aluminum here. Aluminium, as Charles would say. And uh, nicely done, nice welds. Battery's right here, easy to get to. Actually, I'm surprised the battery is up so high. Normally, I would thought the battery would have been in the trunk, but obviously there's no room. This is your intake, of course, for your heating and your fresh air. Nicely put together, as you can see. Everything is nicely fitted. And this roof comes off, doesn't it? The roof, it's a target top, basically. Right, so okay. the two roof panels come off, store in the boot. I was knocked out by the one with the split window. Is that the Aero Max? That That's the Aero Max. We've, yeah. um, we built a hundred of those. There are a few, a few coming into America, very, mm -hmm. very few. This is also a limited edition. This will be about 180 cars in right. total. And it uh, doesn't look like there's any bumpers here. Basically, you can replace the rear panel. So oh, essentially, the bumper is behind the bodywork, uh, as you'd find on any car, really. Right, right. The difficulty, though, of course, is designing that to make it elegant so that you, know, yeah, you don't yeah. actually sort of see a big, fat bumper. Those are actually from another car. Um, now, Jay, I'm going to test your knowledge of uh, Italian cars now, and you can immediately tell where they're from, can't you? Boy, uh, <laughs> you got me there. That's they look nice. slightly better on the Morgan than they do on the, uh, on the donor car. Lancia 
Lattes. Oh, yes. Yeah. See, we don't get the Lancy well, here. Well, you might know. It yeah. might be the Chrysler Italiano. Oh, okay. When it comes okay. in. Wheels are nicely done. I like the side exhaust. They make a great noise, of course. Yeah, yeah. And a lovely crackle on the airplane. Yeah. The classic three wipers. And across the classic English interior. And the dashboard, as we said, quite modern. Uh, heating, air conditioning, all the things. If it wasn't a Morgan, you'd take that for granted. But a lot of, you know, Morgans didn't normally have those type of things. So now they've come into the 21st century. This is a prototype, by the way, so the roof won't be like this on the production car. Yeah. OK, there you go. Oh, I see. OK, very nicely done. On the production car, that's a press button, yeah. bang, right. release, straight in the boot. OK, and you see just a massive trunk. You can actually carry one sport coat <laughs> and a pair of slacks, OK? Now, if you're interested in Morgan, the uh, distributor here in uh, Southern California, I guess for all of California, west of the Mississippi, whatever it is, or or west of the Atlantic, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. No, yeah. uh, Southern California, but we tend to uh, yeah. sell the boats. Just Dennis Glavis, he's the uh, enthusiast. Enthusiast, and you have to be enthusiast because you you know you, you have to love these things. Do you have a website where people can go to find out about the Morgan? Certainly, uh, it's www.morganwest.net. Dot net. Okay, and what is the factory website? It's www.morgan motor.co.uk, but Google Morgan and we come up before the bank. So. Oh, okay. So just Google Morgan, okay, and you come <laughs> up there. Let's take a look at the uh, the inside of the car here. Well, easy, much easier to get in with that roof off. <laughs> Actually, snug but comfortable. I mean, this is what I like. I like a, a snug-fitting car. And you've got your modern uh, yeah, your right. airbags here, and your airbag, your steering wheel as well. Uh, this one here is an automatic, isn't it? It is. It's uh, it's six speed. So it's six speed. Okay, very good, very good. Fire it up. Let's see how she sounds. Oh yeah, it's got a nice nice rumble to it, isn't it? We need to take this for a spin. So many modern car companies try to uh, do the lightweight thing, and for most car companies, lightweight is 3,500 pounds. This car is just about 2,500 pounds. You know, taking 1,000 pounds uh, off a car this size with 380 horsepower is like getting five or 600 horsepower in a heavier vehicle. So it goes pretty good. Now, I gotta admit, it makes you smile driving it. It's compact, but it's it's quite comfortable, and it's got some power. You know, this is out of a typical English day. It's a little overcast here, a little chilly outside. So I'm in my Morgan, I got the heater going. And believe me, this heater works a lot better than any English heater in a sports car I had before. I realize this is a prototype, but for prototype, it feels like a production car. Very nicely put together. Now the styling is interesting, you either get it or you don't. You know, so many cars today are designed by committee that you wind up with sort of bland looking cars that look like Toyota Corollas. I've seen people go, I love that car, it drives me crazy, and I see people go, I don't get it. But that's fine. I happen to love it, I think it looks great. It doesn't look like anything else on the road. That's the goal of a small car factory. You know, when you're building something unique, it should look different. Some people don't like the headlights. I do. When it's coming at you, you know that can only be a Morgan. If you like it, great. If you don't, well, go buy something else. And like most modern cars, you've got a version of traction control and ABS, so you can't get in too much trouble. And I really like the target top more than I like a full convertible because you can lock the car, make it more secure, and especially in cool weather, rainy weather, I'm like the opposite of claustrophobic. I like being in a cozy, comfortable space. And that's what this feels like when you have the roof on. You've got all the modern safety equipment. You know, in the old days, if you flip one of these, this would collapse like a, like a, a coat hanger. But this is obviously quite strong. Just don't hit a train. Morgan only builds about 800 cars a year, so you're in a fairly exclusive club. Although a car like this is about, about $150,000, $160,000, oh, that's a lot of money. For a hand-built small car, it's really not. I mean, if this was Italian, it would cost you, cost you a lot more than that. It's amazing how low to the ground you sit. You're almost at the go-kart level. I'm really 
impressed by the build quality of this car. It feels uh, almost German in that sense that, you know, no rattles, no bangs, everything, look at that. No cowl shake or anything of that nature like you used to get in the old Triumphs and MGs. Steering wheel is a nice size. Can you hear it blip as it downshifts? You know, it's kind of funny, you always think of Morgans as being these sort of genteel little sports cars quaintly made in England. And when you blow the doors off a Ferrari or Corvette, they'll be surprised. You know, it's amazing how exhilarating the this car is, it's a totally modern car. I always thought of Morgan as sort of quaint sports cars. It's a bit like finding out that the girl you went to high school with with the big glasses is now a professional pole dancer. It's a fast car, it's a well-built car, and I'm quite impressed. I, I kind of thought in the back of my mind, okay, you know, it's handmade in a little factory in England. No, this is a, this is a real sports car. Let's see how it goes on the freeway. up you get almost no buffeting at all you can actually take your wife in this car without her screaming at you about her hair the fun thing is you can actually go to Malvern and and watch your Morgan being built and uh, you know the workforce is most of the descendants of the original workforce you think it would be a bunch of gray-haired men but the average age of the workers at uh, building this Morgan is 34 years old and many of them, their fathers and grandfathers work for the company. So it's a classic family business, which I find uh, very intriguing. I, I like that type of thing. And with six gear, you put it in six gear, your revs drop, oh, at 60 miles an hour, it's about 1,700 RPM, and you get about 30 miles per gallon. You know, the real key is lightweight. You know, I'm a huge fan of Colin Chapman and uh, the Lotus Elans, and that's the same theory here. If you keep the light, the weight down, your mileage goes up, and your power to weight ratio goes up. It's a perfect day for driving this car. Just cool enough outside, you got the heater on. Toes are toasty, face is cool. It's a great English experience. You know, as long as it's in England, there'll always be a Morgan. We'll see you next week. Mm-hmm. <laughs>